Well, in more news, it is something we have covered for years now. The high price of prescription drugs, from Lyrica to insulin, costs have skyrocketed. Last year, Congress came close to passing comprehensive drug reform, but ultimately it failed. As our Joe St. George reports, a new effort to get something by the end of the summer is underway and has more on how it just might impact your family. You know, there are a lot of problems in this country with something that's supposed to make people feel better. Prescription drugs can create issues with addiction. Prescription drugs can also even make the wealthy feel poor because of their cost. This is a story about that. Now, if you're someone who takes a lot of prescription drugs, you don't need me telling you things are expensive. You feel it every time you open your wallet, but maybe you're like me. You don't go to the pharmacy often. This story is for you to understand what some Americans are going through. One bottle runs between $750 and $850. How do you afford that? I can't. I recently met up with Meg Jackson Drage. Her doctor would like her on Lyrica for fibromyalgia. Her finances don't allow for it. I've had to completely quit taking it. Meg lives in Utah. I would like to see a cap. But she came to Washington in the hopes enough lawmakers might listen. And she isn't alone. We're here to advance historic legislation. Advocacy groups recently gathered here to relaunch a campaign. We can do better. To get the House and Senate to come together and pass a prescription drug reform bill before the midterm election. Remember that Build Back Better bill President Biden wanted to pass a few months ago? Well, that isn't going anywhere, but there is a belief by some that prescription drug reform can be taken out of that and pass on its own. It would change the status quo and cap insulin at $35 a month, limit some drug price increases each year, and potentially allow Medicare to negotiate with prescription drug companies on the cost. The reason this has a chance and why we're reporting on it at all is that Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia whose vote is needed to pass anything for Democrats, has said he would like a version of prescription drug reform to pass soon. Republican Senator Susan Collins from Maine has also taken the lead in negotiating something Republicans can vote for too. So far though, there is no plan for an official vote, with some lawmakers concerned about nonpartisan research from the Congressional Budget Office that shows limiting drug prices could limit future scientific research and in turn, new medications. As for Meg, a simple request to our country's leaders. I hope that there's enough representatives who listen and start to understand. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.